What the? Yo! Yo! I knew it! What the? Hey, what's up? I'm Alex, I'm a music producer, and today I want to react to the music of Genshin Impact once again. Today we're gonna do Azdaha's battle theme, uh, which I have no idea how it sounds like, because I haven't still played this part of Genshin Impact. Let's check it out. People have been asking me to listen to this for months, and I want to figure out why. Nice groove. Sounds very, like, kind of exotic. I can imagine, like, a desert or something, you know, like, Arabic, in a way. I love how they're using all these low instruments, you know, like this like sort of like bass trombone on one side, these big cellos and double basses. Everything's kind of low, except for this melody now. I love that groove. Wow. There's lots of things going on in this, in this orchestration, I, I read it. Wow! <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm talking when I say this sounds Egyptian. I dig it. I like it. Let's see how where it goes though, because I feel that's not the part that people go crazy about. This is what I'm talking about. These ominous bass from bones. Damn. That's how you you represent the threat of something huge and dark coming at you, dangerous. You know, like in the Lord of the Rings, the bass from is very common with Mordor and all those scenes, and using it here represents a giant looming threat. Excuse me? Yo! What? <laughs> what is going on? This sounds like a... Wow! What the? Are you freaking kidding me? This sounds like a... Like a movie score from the golden age of Hollywood, like the 70s, the 80s or 90s, that era that had this super beautiful, like interesting harmony that conveyed multiple emotions. This feels kind of like dangerous in a manic way, very unpredictable and epic as well. It sounds huge, but very unsettling. Just like, again, you probably, that's what they want to represent us having the first sight on this huge beast that is Azdaha. And wow, I haven't even played the game. And I can feel the presence of this enemy in front of me right now again. <laughs> okay, yeah, I know not everything has to be one winged angel. But when I think about boss themes that are as dangerous as they are epic, it just one winged angel comes to mind. And this, this is a contender about in, in that vibe. What is going on? Is this heroic? Is this dangerous? Is this both? My brain is having a bit of a problem translating it in terms of like this, this harmony. These chords that are being played are not normal at all. You hear orchestral music in video games all the freaking time, but sometimes you have tracks like this that really take you by surprise and it's taking me by surprise. I'm an orchestral composer myself. I should be able to be like, oh yeah, he's doing this thing in this passage here. I know it very well. But what I'm hearing now is making me question how good I am because I would never write stuff like this. I wouldn't be able to think of music that way. If this is again Yu Peng Chen, then I just feel that the music has been writing <laughs> all the way up to this has been like, you know, when Goku in Dragon Ball is fighting with his boots and then he takes his boots off and they're weight like 500 kilos or something. That's what's happening now. Just Yu Peng Chan took, took his boots off like Goku did. And now he's really flying. Holy shit. Yo, no. No. See like... Da, 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 ba. It's like... There's like a... Like... Holy shit. There's this like... It keeps on going, keeps on raging, this rhythm. And then there's these big chords that stop the, the, the tension. I just... Ah! My god. I should listen to it and shut up. There's, there's a solemn part. The shallows. Whoa. Everything about this track is freaking furious. Everything about it is so enraged. The strings are going insane. You notice the choir, which is like bloodborne material. This is nightmare fuel. <laughs> but mostly I love that string section, like the cello that starts here, creates a solemn feeling, and then it moves all the way to the left of your speaker.
God. They made it a point to let it move like that. And when it moves, it kind of goes up. And when it goes up like that, with the, the violins do the crazy like run, it ends. This level of dynamism and this level of life that they gave to the instruments gives this track a lot of its pathos. Without it, it wouldn't be the same. So this is incredible orchestration work, I would say. Whoa! Hey, this is so fucking cool, man. What the hell is going on? What the fuck? Again! Ah! Ah! I love this! I love that. I love that it happens in these moments when the, you know, the track does this a lot. Like, it has this the groove that keeps on going forever. And when it stops, you're like, finally, a moment of rest. But no, it doesn't. It does this weird chord progressions in the moments of rest. So you're never resting. It always keeps you on the edge. On one side, because of the driving rhythm, and on the other side, because of these unsettling chords. My God. Wow. So cool, and I love that groove from before. I don't know, it just, to me, I'm like, hey, what, this sounds a bit medieval in a way. I don't know, I'm like, hey, what, what if we actually turn it into bard core? <laughs> But honestly, this is such a nice, beautiful groove with a beautiful melody that follows the groove perfectly. It will work very well also in genres that are a bit more rhythmic, like, I don't know, electronic music or whatever. I am sold. I know people say the best part of this song is part two or something. For me, this is already the best. I don't see how they can top this, honestly. I do not, I do not see that. Wow. Major, beautiful major chords. Okay. He's more angry now, seems like. What's gonna happen? Man. This change. This, the, ah! Like this level of dynamic change. What is this? What, what the, this is classical music level of like quality. Like, you know, the music that we've been like playing and replaying and replaying and replaying and replaying for like hundreds of years. This, this is at the same level as those tracks, in my opinion, in my humble opinion. I'm not a huge classical music listener, but holy shit, that dynamic change felt so right. After all this crazy, angry storm of emotions, the melodies stay the same, but we move to woodwinds and it sounds super small, but still kind of threatening. I'm like, I'm more worried now because of like, the track has been so loud the whole time. And now that I have some peace finally, I'm getting worried for what's about to come. I, and this transition, oh God, wow. What the fuck? So beautiful. Damn insane okay i don't know but i don't think they can top whatever came before i don't i d synthesizers there's a bass synthesizer and some big hybrid percussion damn this sounds heroic now Ooh. now we have like the long melodies very solemn now hey Hey! Wow! Hey! Shit! Avengers type of shit. I love this. Man, it's making me group. Oh shit. Oh no. Oh no. Oh shit! Ah! Man, it's so fucking good! I'm sorry guys, I I have to do this, you know, you know what happens when I'm grooving, you know. I kind of have to. Yeah. Let's get punky.
No, really, this melody, oh God, like this is, wow. Mm. <laughs> I, I love, I love whenever they use like these Asian instruments that you would rarely hear in most orchestrations in video games. When I hear that, I'm like, good job, Mihoyo. <laughs> that, that, great job. I cannot wait for them to like tackle the next continents, the next nations or whatever, when they become maybe a bit more African inspired or Europe inspired. And I'm very curious to see what they will sound like. Are they still gonna infuse the, the cultures of the places in the music? Because the, the, the music in Liyue, in my opinion, is the best music in Genshin Impact because it has this stuff and it's so, good like they care about you know portraying these instruments in the best way possible because it's their culture i hope they're gonna do that also for the other uh cities but damn damn ah. oh. Ah. oh my god damn sounds so good i hope you guys can hear this is metal as fuck i hope you can hear it because now, now, what the, yo, yo, I knew it, I knew it, wait a second, what the fuck, oh my god, yo, I heard the guitars from before, ah, fuck, oh my god, no way, no way, they did not, they did not, Emerge symphonic orchestral music with traditional Asian. What is going on? <laughs> no, I'm sorry, guys. I am sorry. I am utterly. But what else are you gonna add? What, what else? What else? Are we gonna... Guys, I. <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't know what to say anymore. I really don't know what to say anymore. <laughs> oh my god! You gotta be fucking kidding. No, 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 I'm sorry for stopping the song. No, I cannot. I cannot do this. I don't, I don't, I cannot process this in real time and tell you something knowledgeable. I can just be bamboozled for the rest of the song because I'm like, what is going on? I did not, I, I did, I did not. I, it starts with this golden age Hollywood sound, goes to like hybrid orchestra, modern Avengers, beautiful Asian instruments. And then you have this sort of like, you know, this climax here, this build up. That's where I heard the guitars. That that very chunky sound is like double basses, cellos, and maybe some bass trombones layered with some guitars. And I, I can I can tell the sound anywhere because you know I'm a composer. So when I heard that, I'm like, oh yeah, he's doing the cool thing of layering these guitar chugs. But that's all that's gonna happen, probably. You know, maybe it's just a layer. He's not gonna go crazy with it. And then and then this fucking happened. This freaking happened. What is life? Wow. What is going on? Ah, this melody. Oh, oh my god. Oh, I love this so much. Like, oh my god. Ah. Oh, I'm sorry. Like, it, it feels like I'm freaking nothing or whatever. That sounds disgusting. But I'm sorry. Like, this is this is insane. This melody, right? Like, this ah, Yu Peng Chen is doing all the all the right things, you know. Like, not only he's traveling throughout all the different types of genres you can think of orchestral music, but also, for example, in this moment right here, the melody that the guitar is playing sounds so freaking gothic or whatever. It's like, man, like if you turn this into pure apocalyptic orchestral, you know exactly what you're gonna get, which is this. Yes, 
yes, this is Bloodborne Metal. This is crazy. The level of detail, the level of styles and all these things hidden inside this like eight minutes is insane. And the, the thing I love the most is that it all goes well together perfectly. How? <laughs> how, uh, how do you write all these incredible compositions and then tie them together like this? Like this doesn't sound like something he wrote in like a day or two. This sounds like something that was a very long process. He probably wrote this in a long time. And again, it sounds like he got inspired from so many different types of music music too so my god either this guy has the biggest musical brain ever and he can just conjure ideas in so many different styles like that or he really had to do some research and sit down on this track for a long time ah damn this is probably the toughest reaction video because huh i, I feel my energy drawing out because i'm just talking so much but there's so much to say this is and the, this choir is probably singing some proper words i cannot tell now but Huh. And this strings and one uh -huh. oh. I love it. Man, that string. What the hell? Yeah. Okay. Asian symphonic metal. Whatever. Let's invent new genres. What not? But that's not a new genre, I'm sure, but it's rare. Man. Man. Ah! No! Those movements! My god! I am. Listen, that was one of the most insane pieces of video game music I've ever heard in my life. If Buried the Light is the most incredible piece of music I've talked about on this channel, this might be the second or the third, probably. This is... What the fuck is this? What, what is going on? I, oh, God. I feel like I barely scratched the surface with my life breakdown. But that's some legendary stuff right here, guys. I understand why this track has a million views on YouTube. And I'm so proud for the people who listen to this because that's good fucking music taste. Thank you for those of you who kept on asking me to talk about this one because holy shit, I lost my mind. I'm gonna listen to this track quite a lot from now on. Good job, Hoyo Mix, Yu Peng Chen, everybody at the music team of like Genshin Impact. This must have been a collective work. And what a masterpiece. Holy shit. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Oh my god. <laughs>